Today is Thursday, April 4, 2024. I'm Pastor Michael, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Reflect on these scriptures for this Thursday after Easter, 2024. Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob from a people of foreign tongue, Judah became God's sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains leaped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, see, that you fled? Why, Jordan, did you turn back? Why, mountains, did you leap like rams, you hills like lambs? Tremble, earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool, the hard rock into springs of water. Exodus 13, 11 to 16. After the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites and gives it to you, as he promised on oath to you and your ancestors, you are to give over to the Lord the first offspring of every womb. All the firstborn males of your livestock belong to the Lord. Redeem with a lamb every firstborn donkey. But if you do not redeem it, break its neck. Redeem every firstborn among your sons. In days to come, when your child asks you, what does this mean? Say to them, with a mighty hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. When Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, the Lord killed the firstborn of both people and animals in Egypt. This is why I sacrificed to the Lord the first male offspring of every womb and redeem each of my firstborn sons. And it will be like a sign on your hand and a symbol on your forehead that the Lord brought us out of Egypt with his mighty hand. When Corinthians 15, 29 to 34. Suppose no one rises from the dead. Then what will people do who are baptized for the dead? Suppose the dead are not raised at all. Then why are people baptized for them? And why would we put ourselves in danger every hour? I face death every day. That's the truth. And here is something you can be just as sure of. I take pride in what Christ Jesus our Lord has done for you through my work. Did I fight wild animals in Ephesus with nothing more than human hopes? And what have I gotten for it? If the dead are not raised, let us eat and drink, because tomorrow we will die. Don't let anyone fool you. Bad companions make a good person bad. You should come back to your senses and stop sinning. Some of you don't know anything about God. I say this to make you ashamed. Luke 7, 11 to 17. Sometime later, Jesus went to a town called Nain. His disciples and a large crowd went along with him. He approached the town gate. Just then, a dead person was being carried out. He was the only son of his mother. She was a widow. A large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, he felt sorry for her. So he said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the coffin. Those carrying it stood still. Jesus said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk. And Jesus gave him back to his mother. The people were all filled with wonder and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread all through Judea and the whole country.
Let's close in prayer. Lord of all life and power, through the mighty resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus, you overcame the old order of sin and death. Through him you make all things new. Through your Spirit, kill in us the old self and raise us to new life in Christ. To you be praise and honor, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen.